Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And we are going to be installing an add-on car creator for vehicles. All right. This way we could create our own add-on cars. All right. Or trucks. Now, when you get to this link right here, this uh, is the creator, Ganic. Shout out to the creator. When you uh, get to this link, what you want to do is scroll down and read the full description, all right? It has um, important information inside the description, so make sure you read it. After you're done doing that, come over here where it says the current, which is 1.3 at, at the current moment. You want to select the green arrow to download. Now, as of uh, requirements, there's no uh, specific requirements in order to install it, but you will need Open 4, okay? Um, if you don't have Open 4 installed, I will leave a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install Open 4, all right? So once you have add-on creator vehicles downloaded and you have your Open 4 installed, you are also going to need a uh, replace car too, all right? That's very important also. Um, I don't have a uh, replace car up here, but if you come to the same site where you're downloading add-on creator vehicles, you can find a replace car inside the vehicles category, okay? So you're gonna need a uh, replace car that you wanna turn into a add-on car, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into it. On the left-hand side, I have um, an empty folder with two things inside. I have one that is the add-on creator vehicles V 1.3 and then I have my uh, Replace vehicle right here. All right um, On my right hand side. I have my Grand Theft Photo 5 directory opened up and I have a mods folder inside already if you don't have a mods folder go ahead and create a new folder and name it mods all in low caps after you're done doing that, what you want to do is come to update folder, the update folder, and copy the whole update folder. Then you want to go back to your mods folder, open it up, and you want to paste your update folder right here. All right. Once you're done pasting your update folder right here inside your mods folder, go ahead and op open up your update folder. Then go to X64, DLC packs. All right, now let's go over to um, our add-on creator vehicles, okay? Now, let's open up this one first, all right? Then let's open up the add-on creator vehicles application. Go ahead and double click on that. Once you click on that, that is going to bring up this little box right here, all right? Now, what you wanna do is um, I left it right here inside the DLC packs because this is exactly where our car is going to appear. Now what we want to do is um, go ahead and paste the name or or go ahead and um, type in the name of the add-on vehicle that you want. All right. So whatever name that you're going to name your add-on vehicle, go ahead and place it right here in the box. Once you're done doing that, you want to select this uh, drop down box right here. And it's going to have a couple of categories or different cars. And it's going to have um, also some airplanes too, as well as helicopters. Um, I'm going to pick, uh, let's see what I have. I'm going to pick sport. All right. Um, once you're done picking your category, um, you want to come over here to where it says create add-on. Once you create add-on, a browse for folder box will pop up. And you want to select the place that you want to uh, save your add-on vehicle. So I'm going to find my Steam library, go to common, find my Grand Theft Auto 5, my mods folder, and then I'm going to click on update and then select DLC packs. Okay. So you want to be able to find where your Steam library is, okay? Go to Common, all right, and then select your Grand Theft Auto 5, and then you want to select Mods folder, then Update, then DLC packs. Once you have DLC packs selected, press OK. 
you'll get the message right here successfully created DLC pack at and this will be the destination that it's at okay so just in case um, you're kind of confused on where it saved it at it'll let you know exactly right here once you're done with this press OK now if we come back over here to our DLC packs for me my add-on car is right here for you whatever you named yours it exactly be inside your DLC packs if you follow the same path I did all right once you have that all set let's go ahead and uh, close out create add-on vehicles and open up our open four all right I have my open four opened up right here on my left hand side let me take that put that right okay i have my open four open up right here on my left hand side right here now what we want to do now is go ahead and go to update on the side column also make sure that you have your edit mode turned on before you go any further always make sure the edit mode is turned on it'll be highlighted blue just go ahead and click it and turn it on once that is on, let's go ahead and go to update on the side column right here and then select update.rpf. You will have this uh, red banner right here. If this is your first time, it's going to say copy to mods folder. So select copy to mods folder. Once you do that, what you want to do is go inside common, then data, then scroll down till you find your DLC list.xml right click with the mouse select edit this window will pop up scroll down to the bottom highlight the last item line okay just like I did here highlight it and then you want to copy it place the cursor behind it press enter paste that same name that you just copied or the same line you just copied so now you should have two item lines that have the same name inside the item line all right once you have that, what you want to do is go back over to your DLC packs that you had opened inside of your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. And you want to find your add-on card that you just created. And what you want to do is just copy that name. Alright, we're just copying the name of the add-on card. Now let's go back down to our DLC list window. And we are just going to paste over the name that is in that last item line. We're going to paste over that with our add-on card name okay so now you should have a new item line with your new add-on card name right here inside once you have that go ahead and save now that that is done what we need to do now is um, put in our car files inside the add-on folder so let's go ahead and uh, close all our archives on that right there and what we want to do is open up our mods folder then go to update 64 DLC packs find your new add-on card that you just created and go to DLC then go to 64 then go to levels GTA and then go to vehicles and then open up vehicles.rpf and inside here is where we are going to be placing our uh, replace car files okay now let's go over um, wherever you have your replace car files go ahead and locate them right now I'm gonna go ahead and locate mines all right mines is right here what I'm gonna do is just grab them now before you drag and drop make sure that your car file names match the same name as your add-on vehicle you just created okay so when you created your add-on vehicle and you gave it a name make sure that your car files match the same name okay once you have that all correct go ahead and drag and drop your car files right here into open four all right drag and drop twice once that is done um, if you don't have any specific handling to install or anything like that then you're all good because um, this automatically comes with uh, generated handling in uh, vehicles.meta. All right, um, let's go and check that out. Let's just go back with our open four. Just select back, then select back. Go back again. 
Now let's go inside our common folder and then open data. All right. So uh, inside data, it already has our generated DLC text dot meta handling and our shop underscore vehicle dot meta. And if you go inside, I believe levels and then GTA, it has the vehicles dot meta right here. All right. All right. Once you're done making your changes, go ahead and select file, close all archives. Now we exit out of open four, minimize any other windows that we have open and run the game. All right. Once you spawn inside the game, what you're going to need is some type of menu or a trainer, um, either a simple trainer, menu, native trainer. It's a whole bunch of menus and trainers, whichever you could uh, spawn a car with, you're good to go. I'm going to use simple trainer right here. Just go to vehicle spawnings, scroll down to the bottom where it says added vehicles menu. And then you want to find that car that you just created. I just created a Maserati, so um, it's going to be Maserati Sports. Whatever you named it and whatever category you chose is going to be right there. All right, as you can see, this is the Maserati that I used right here. All right. There you go, right there. So as you can see, um, the car will definitely be uh, like a little quicker. It depends on what you had chose, if you wanted to make it a super or anything like that. But sport is pretty quick. Oop, it's pretty quick right there also. Right, I'm going to go dry this around real quick. But uh, if this helped y'all out to install it, man, if y'all enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. This is Games and Graphics. Me and your boy, Big Paul and Ass Frank. We are out of here until next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.